Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be continuing our series on Autodesk Showcase 2016. I have created a couple of screencasts already, one talking about the Suites workflow from Revit to Showcase. And then the second one was just a general graphical user interface on Showcase and how to start to creating shots. In this screencast, we have quite a few shots already created. And for a quick review, um, I'll tell you how to create a shot. We can go through and specify any kind of view that we want. So let's say, for example, a top view. We can head over here to click Create, and we can create, create a still shot, a cinema, cinematic, or start to end. So for the purposes of this one, I'll just do a still shot. We can call it whatever we want. We can specify that transition. It can be from black to shot. And then if I hit the preview, you'll see it goes from black to the shot. If I hit Animate to Shot, um, I can specify things like cinematic and maybe orbiting or zooming in or tracking left or crane up or crane right. So let's say, for example, I say crane up left and I hit a preview and give it a second and you'll see it make an adjustment. So there are different ways to set up the shots property that you want. Once you're finished, you hit close and that shot will be created. If you need to modify, you can right click it, rename it, delete it, refresh the image move the camera to that position, set a hotkey on your keyboard so you can just click it and it'll take you directly to that shot. And then more importantly for this screencast, we're going to cover storyboards so you can add that to the current storyboard. And then lastly, we can save the shot out as a movie file like AVI or, or WMV. If you need to get back to the properties of the shot, you can click properties and get back here and make some adjustments. I don't particularly care for that one, so I'm going to delete that. I have all these shots here and I have already created a storyboard with all the shots. How did I do this? If I go to story, I can click storyboard and put a check mark there and then this storyboard interface will show up. And I, I can also click the letter U on, your, on the keyboard and that will pop up as well. So I can go through the process of deleting any shot that's already in a storyboard. And I can add any shot that I want to a storyboard. So for example, if I go over here under shots and I click the shot, it will number one automatically take me to that shot. I can right click and say add to current storyboard and I can do this for as many shots or as a few shots as I want to. Once you've done this, now you have your storyboard in place, you can just click play and it will start from the first shot and it will go through its animation series of showing from one shot to the next shot and it'll take into account all the property aspects of each of the shots. If you need to, you can click this X to hide the shots. T is the keyboard shortcut for uh, shots, by the way. <clears throat> and so it'll run through its series and when it's finished, it'll hit stop automatically. Now things to note when you're working with shots, depending on the duration speed that you set, the shorter the duration time frame, the faster the animation will be. So sometimes you might need to have the animation move slower or sometimes you need to have the animation move faster. And that's it. That's how you create uh, a storyboard from shots within your Autodesk Showcase environment. Thank you very much for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 